Hi, it's Kathy from Fieldwork Connections. Today I am at a local high school and I am going to be taking students through doing their geographical investigation, year 11 students. So we're going to first start with a seminar inside the classroom where students will be introduced to what the geographical investigation is. They're going to start to think about what kinds of things are of interest to them um, and then start putting together um, a good inquiry question. Um, after that I am going to introduce them to some fieldwork ideas and that's why I'm outside now because luckily for these students they have a little creek that runs through their school um, and so I'm going to bring them down here and show them how they can use some field equipment. Um, and then part of the session we will also um, just try and narrow down exactly what kind of project that they each want to be doing um, and so they can then put together some proposals for their teacher um, to then move forward with their geographical investigation. Using a creek to collect your data, um, a part of your primary data for your geographical investigation can be um, a really good place to start because where we are here in Sydney, we are um, part of an urban catchment. And so everything that um, is happening in this catchment, all the land uses, all those urban land uses in the suburbs surrounding, when it rains, all the water is washing down here into this creek. And so I'm gonna be showing students how they can collect both physical and biological data. And if they were thinking about building a project um, as part of water quality, of, of the creek water here they could test here and then they could move further down the catchment and maybe select one or two other locations and then go back to those locations a couple of times over the next few months and put all that together um, and analyze that data for their results in their report. The classroom session was quite productive. Um, the students came up with quite a lot of questions with an environmental focus, which always makes me happy because I am a physical geographer. Um, they were thinking about the, the creeks in their local areas, um, about environmental quality, about water quality. Um, one student was also thinking about more social issues around looking at uh, people sleeping on the streets in urban areas. Um, some social issues around that um, but I really do think that um, yeah some of the environmental questions have a lot of promise and uh, hopefully those students are going to be able to build some really good investigations out of them. So I've just done some tests down at the creek um, we've tested the soil pH and found that it is a pH of 5, the natural uh, weathered bedrock. And we've compared that to the creek water pH. And having a look here at our little chart, you can see that the creek is pH 7. So something is impacting the creek in this urban area. We also were able to do a little... Um, biological test at the creek and have a look at, I'm just looking for the chart, the water bugs in the area. And we didn't have much time to do it, but I was just demonstrating. We did find quite a few little snails, some little uh, freshwater snails. However, they're very tolerant species. So we didn't get much of a comprehensive look at the creek to see just how polluted it is. We do know that something is living here, but it's potentially quite a polluted creek. Um, I'm really hoping the students got a lot out of that. Um, if you are interested in having me come to your school to do a geographical investigation seminar with your students and demonstrate how to do fieldwork, um, please let me know.